Hi, I'm Maeve Doyle. We're at Westbourne Grove, putting the final touches on the Connor Brothers' Mythomania. It's a bit of a departure from what they normally do, but I think you'll like it. Come with me. Last time I saw this work was at the Connor Brothers studio in Homerton, and to see it at Westbourne Grove, curated so perfectly, uh, really tells the story of mythomania. So it's clear there's a new genre coming through the Connor Brothers. I think the critics are calling it mythicism. The rejection of everything real and formulaic and the return of the supernatural, the magical, the subconscious and dreamlike states. This piece is titled Pandemic, and for me, it's a great place to start. Uh, the reason being is if you didn't change through the pandemic, it would be more unusual than if you did. And the Connor brothers certainly made a departure from their earlier work and took the position of being in the therapist chair and used art as a therapy to get them through. So start with Pandemic and we'll go to social media, which is an interesting paradox. We're talking about dinosaurs, which would be representative of the last ice age or creation theories and social media. So we've got a tension between the past and the future and not really knowing what's happening. We're at Rebel and Extraordinary and I, it's hard to describe or put your finger on what makes a piece of art look fresh. These definitely look fresh, but it's even harder to put a name on what or reason on what constitutes a movement in art. Although I can see that one's happening through the works of Robert Nava, Jordi Kerwick and the Connor brothers. A piece like this shows a lot of hidden anxieties. In the lines and the drawings, you can see they've gone back to a childlike wisdom. I'll come downstairs and you'll see more. Some of this work was included in the regression series that celebrated 10 years of the Connor brothers. They continued with it and it led to the new body of work, which is Mythomania. This kind of drawing and, and drawing and painting reveals just in the in the nature of the line and the brush stroke, the mystery and wonder of, of just drawing as an activity and getting back to the look of something that's made by hand. I particularly like social media. It looks like something from a movie that's uh, terrifying you about an oncoming apocalypse, like the Night of the Living Dead. Uh, that, the title, social media, is at once funny and slightly ominous. Seemingly unconnected artists working around the world all started experimenting stylistically, uh, opening their creative process to new, new mediums like bastardized oils, where they're repurposing the old masters. Uh, you'll know the famous Botticelli. But what I love about this show is the Connor brothers turn the table where they weren't just criticizing and questioning society. They were taking the criticisms and questions society had for them and turning them into joke paintings. This is from the Daily Mail. They were robbed if they paid for that rubbish. It looks like it came from the skip. The last one, tacky, tacky, ghastly picture from ghastly people with ghastly taste. You kind of start laughing at people who criticize you because it's fun. It's fun to get out there and talk about what you think about things and they're not shying away from it. 